Hey everyone, hello and welcome to another Fun Fact Friday here at University Animal Clinic. I am Dr. Sam. So with rainy season upon us, I thought the next common thing that we tend to see once the rain starts coming is Giardia. So I thought we would talk a little bit more about that today. Giardia, also known as Giardiasis, which is the disease they tend to get, is actually a protozoa. It's not a, a worm um, like people think of other intestinal parasites. It's actually a protozoa that they get from the water. Our dogs and cats, but mostly dogs, because most of our cats are indoors only, will get this by drinking water that's been sitting out. You know, with all this rain, it's soaking into the soil and things are kind of coming up to the surface. And one of those things is Giardia. And so we will often see that from them drinking contaminated water, but even just from eating grass that a dog that previously had Giardia has defecated on um, and has contaminated that, that grass, they can get it from that too. So um, Giardia can cause diarrhea. It can cause no symptoms. So some of our pets have no symptoms. Some have diarrhea, decreased appetite, sometimes vomiting if it gets really bad. And, the, and we can see them in the hospital for this. We can do an easy test, a fecal exam. Generally, we send them out, but there are also SNAP tests that you can have in hospital that we can run um, to diagnose this disease. And there is treatment. It's very easy to treat. It's an oral medication, generally metronidazole, maybe even a little probiotic. But um, it is something that we see more and more with our, with our dogs going out to dog parks, lots of dogs in one location because they're all defecating in those areas. So we do tend to see it more often there. And the biggest reason I want you guys to know about this is because it's zoonotic and zoonotic means we can get it. So it's something that you can get from your pets, um, that you can get from, you know, drinking abnormal water. So this in some parts of the country where people do a lot of hiking and drinking out of rivers, it's called beaver fever. And that's because those beavers will poop in the river and they'll have giardia. And if you drink that contaminated water without treating it first, you can get it. This is also the reason I'll, a lot of times they'll say don't drink the water in Mexico. And that's because again, contaminated water sources from wildlife, runoff, things like that can have um, this, this giardia um, protozoa in it. And that's often called traveler's diarrhea. That's what they'll call that in people. And that's usually because you've gone to an area where the water wasn't treated and drank the water and then um, got it that way. So um, that's one of the bigger reasons I want you guys to know about it is because it's something you can get. So being extra careful in these instances. So if your pet has diarrhea, it might be something we recommend testing for besides testing for just normal oral paras uh, other parasites as well. We may test for Giardia and that's why because we want to make sure if they have it that we let you know so you don't get it. So hopefully this gave you guys just a little insight, something to think about, especially during rainy season right now. Um, just another thing that our pets can get that they can give us, so it happens. Um, if you have ideas for the next Fun Fact Friday, please leave it in the comments below. I always want to talk about what you guys want to hear about. If you have any stories about your pet and weird things they ate out in the yard, we love to hear those too. Leave those in the comments. Give this video a like and a share. We love to get our message out there. And head on over to University Animal Clinic's um, YouTube channel. We actually have one of those now and a lot of these videos, if you've missed it, here on Facebook Live are gonna be over there on our YouTube channel. So you can check it out and watch them there. And I hope to see you guys again next week. Thanks.